you can see, I'm having a little bit of lighting trouble. I'm just trying to sort out my lighting rig a bit more to see which ways I can get maximum light. And of course, unfortunately, it doesn't really allow for, uh, for an item this large, this close to the camera. I've got it zoomed as far out as I can, but unfortunately, eh, uh, reality is, sometimes things just don't go right. But as you can probably see from just this quick twirl of the box already, and the fact that it's got the name on right there, I've splurged on a blue Yeti. And when I say splurged, it was on special offer. It was going for about £99.99, so I thought, that's a lot cheaper than it normally is. Let's go get myself one of those. After all, I've just bought myself a new microphone stand as well, so I need something to plug it into. And this ought to do quite nicely. We'll see how those go uh, together at some other point in time. Right now, I'm just going to unbox this bad boy. After we take a quick look. Yeah, I think that's enough looking at the box here. Actually, let's just take a look over here. We have Ultimate USB microphone for professional recording. And then the microphone USB for enriched German professional. I assume that's French, but I seem to have slipped in a completely different accent altogether. I don't know what that was either. Uh, yeah, four settings. Infinite possibilities. If you've seen any videos about these things before, you probably know the drill, and I'll be going through that later on once I've gotten it out the box here. Let's just see, we've got stereo cardioid? 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 What's that word there? Cardioid? Is that it? Omnidirectional and bidirectional. Well, that's a good idea. I mean, it even gives you nice little pictures as to what it all means. Hmm, I wonder which would be the best way to actually use it for. Uh, my sort of purposes. If you, if you can hear a TikTok sound in the background, that's a little alarm clock I've uh, got in the back. That seems that had it had been wound down. Okay, I've just completely wound out altogether. But for some reason, it uh, started up again. I don't know why. Weird. Some massive magnetic storm. Maybe that wasn't a whale that didn't manage to destroy my computer. Right. Most of all, all of this stuff. Hmm. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering about that damage there, dear Eagle died I enough, that was done by the man in store. It was absolutely fine when I got it, but yeah. Anyhow, I won't actually reveal who it was that I got it from, but, you know, <clears throat> I'm not going to uh, let people have any sort of false advertising hopes. <clears throat> not a sponsored ad. <clears throat> I had somewhere put a pair of scissors for proper cutting uses. But uh, unfortunately, they seem to have walked, and I've got no idea where. So I'm just using this screwdriver, as I normally do, to open things up with. You know that? That's my receipt that I just tucked in there. Oh, look at that. It comes with one of these boxes that has boxes inside boxes. Oh, and you've got to lift it up and out like this. Oh. And one of the things I've got to admit to, it was a lot heavier than I was expecting it to be. When you think microphone, or at least when I think microphone, I think, yes, that'll be something nice and light and uh, so on. Not this thing, this weighs maybe a couple of pounds, which admittedly isn't much, but it's what's more than I was thinking it's going to be. Now, how am I supposed to get this out without actually damaging anything? I don't think it's possible to do that. Right, this is a job for something a bit finer than it. Absolutely enormous screwdriver, but never mind. The absolute enormous screwdriver. Not in any way compensating for anything. No, honestly, I'm not compensating for anything. I'm just compensating for the. Well, I am compensating for something. I'm compensating for the lack of a pair of scissors. USB port cables. Yeah, one of those funny little ones. Everything looks just a bit off. I have this bit here. That looks like instructions, I'll just put that to one side. Ah, and here we are. The microscope design, I suppose. It's actually oh, all pretty good. Come on, easy. Let's do it that way. There's all right. nothing else in the box, as far as I can tell. Nope, that's it. And there it is. And it is a thing of practicality. It is actually quite attractive and its own regard, I suppose. You can sort of have it up like that. The polystyrene has uh, sort of managed to get embedded into the uh, into the top there, and 
That's actually doing quite a nice job on the viewfinder, at least of reflecting all the light back. Yeah, I can't wait until I get my proper adapters so that uh, this thing can, hmm, can have its own proper dedicated light rig and sound setup, probably all above the camera where I really need it, instead of having the audio up here and the light down there and everything looking re really weird. Uh, I don't know. Right. Oh, I keep hitting something there. What's that? Not there. Yeah, the mute button is right on that. Volume controls here. Oop. You can sort of rest it like that. Does this allow you to sort of tighten it in place? Yeah, you can sort of kind of semi have it at least somewhat stiffened in position. It, it isn't going around as easily as it would before, but it uh, doesn't seem to lock as such. And the various different positions and gain can be altered. Whatever gain is. <laughs> right, let's see what the bottom brings us. Some attachment to uh, screw it onto uh, something like a microphone stand. Got a USB port here and standard headphones jack. So, in theory, putting this up to this and then that up to the computer. Yeah. This could be fun. Alright, there's going to be a little bit of a jump cut while I get familiar with this and do some tests and see what it's like. And then we'll, uh, hmm, we'll conclude this and see what I think of it. I might even hook it up to something else. I'll see you in three, two, one. Okay, so I'm now looking at my brand new Blue Yeti microphone on its new home, which is my microphone stand that I've shown you before. And I've got to admit, with it in this particular position and set it to the uh, corduroyed, 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 that word that I can't pronounce, which basically means it's just picking up volume from here and nowhere else, having it right in front of the monitor, or, well, you know, a good distance away in this case, about, oh, I don't know, 40 centimetres or so, it's not actually picking up any of the sound from the speakers, so this does seem to work quite nicely so you don't need to have your speakers off and everything plugged in through headphones you can theoretically I've tested this a little bit but not much uh, theoretically you could be using this for let's plays without having to have headphones on unless of course the game really does require you to have headphones on uh, I generally keep everything as far as sound levels concerned relatively low, which may also help in that regard. I haven't tested on higher settings. That's for two reasons. One is not to disturb the neighbour. Two, I just don't like loud noises. Okay, I've never been one of these people who has had to have music played loudly to enjoy it. I've always actually found that quite painful. So, in this kind of regard, you know, for my purposes, somebody who plays sound on a relatively low level, this works quite nicely. And as it is, hmm, what was it? I didn't quite like. Oh yes, as you can only really see this at this particular angle. I'm going to have to take uh, this off. And oh, everything goes crazy in freehand. I'm just going to show you. Uh, it's from this angle here, and I'm just going to show it to you from this angle. So. From here, you can see the mute button and the volume switch. The volume switch only affects the microphone if you... Well, it only affects... And it's all gone crazy as I've gone freehand. And we're now looking directly at the microphone, as you can tell, and most of my rig. And what we're just going to concentrate on for the time being is the front, because we've got the mute button there. When it's not muted, then it's going to have a solid red colour. If it's muted, then it'll have a flashing red. I would have preferred a different colour sequence, like a solid red to show it was on mute, okay, and a green light, for example, to show that it was actually on. You got a volume control, but that only affects headsets if you've got them plugged in here. There's a standard uh, three and a half inch adapter, three point five millimeter rather adapter uh, for that sort of purpose. And then we've got the various different settings here. Again, I've got set on the middle because that seems to suit me fine. Uh, we've got the various different settings here, the very different patterns, 
Uh, I won't go over those in too much detail verbally, mainly because I can't recall most of them. Uh, one stereo one's all around. Uh, the one I've got it on right now just records from the front, which is obviously this side here. Um, and then you've got another one that basically yeah, looks, listens to everything. So if you were taking this off with you to do interviews live in the streets, of, uh, for example, you'd have it on the all over uh, sort of set. And then if you were get, getting a lot of people in one room and you wanted to uh, listen to what everybody had to say, you would probably have it on the same setting. But for a one on one sort of circumstance, it's quite nice to just have it on that one setting so it's not picking up any of the noises that you don't want it to. So I think in conclusion what I have to say is, yes, if you can get this particular microphone at a good discounted price, do, because it is fantastic. Okay, This was approximately £99.99, it's usually going for about 150 so I did get it for a rather bargain in the summer records. Um, there may very well be other places that are selling it uh, for even less. I haven't found them yet. Uh, and that's probably indicative that either the range is coming to its conclusion or they might have something better coming out so they're just dropping the price or something. Uh, time will tell. Right now I'm just going to say toodle bit because that's all I've got to say about the matter. Bye bye!